It's Brad's Laboratory. All right, here's the sub panel in my garage that um, my 240 volt outlet is, is uh, wired into. It is these uh, red and black wires coming into this breaker here. And there is a white wire that clearly comes into the neutral block here. The ground bus over here is not hooked up. So at least in my installation, neutral and ground are not the same thing at the sub panel. There are feeders coming in here from the top, from my main panel, with neutral 240 volt across these two. See the one with the green tape on it? That's the ground going to the ground bus. Green tape on both ends, so ground. And you can see all the bare copper ground wires going to the ground bus. So now back in the main panel, neutral and ground are usually tied together, bonded together. Um, and you can see they have the a strap going across here so they can bond those two easily. Um, but they're not bonded at the sub panel here. They're usually bonded at the main panel. All right. So this is a little video on charging a Tesla um, with a 50 amp dryer outlet um, with no ground. So it's kind of interesting. This thing's got a little label on here that says this adapter does not supply a neutral connection and is intended for electric ve electric vehicle charging only. Um, and it's made by EVSE adapters in Exeter, California. So it's kind of interesting on the 240 volt um, three prong like this. There's actually um, 240 volts across these and this is supposed to be neutral. This is supposed to be ground here. Of course, there's only three wires, as you can see. And this is, uh, it says on here, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it says on here that it is um, 300 volt. Eight gauge. 10 gauge made in China. So I'm assuming they're saying that that is 8 gauge on the uh, on the 240 volt lines and then 10 gauge on the on the ground or in this case probably neutral. Well let's ohm it out and see what we get. So that should be one of the Ohms. Duh. That is that one there. I think. Yeah. 75 ohms. Alright. And then this one should be this one here. Yep. So what's going on with this middle? prong that should be neutral so it should be this one. Oh, it's not there they tied it to ground so nothing on neutral and only ground interesting alright so here's the Tesla branded plug with its one, two, three, four, five connections. 
Um, some of these are pretty small gauge, so they're probably sense connections, and these are the, the larger um, connections. Again, it's got some sort of Tesla brain box here near the end of the plug. So there, it's got f five connections, or really, looking at this, it looks like four connections, and a, and a latch. So let's, uh, I would assume all four of those go to there. Tesla Motors Inc. 125-250 volt AC 50 amp USN 1450 101-4324-10-E So I think there's 120 volt ones of these that you can plug onto this same cord. Universal Mobile Connector 1P Part number 1058221-01-F Voltage and current 100 to 240 volt AC 40 amp max Frequency 50 to 60 hertz Temp rating minus 30 C to 58 C Enclosure type 4X And it's got a reset button down there Yeah, I was messing with it a little bit. How does the door come open? Oh, just yeah, you automatically just push you push that and mm -hmm. the door pops open, huh? Yep. Put the slider in. There it goes. And away it goes, huh? Hi, Brad here. Thanks for stopping by my uh, channel and checking out this video. Um, and really appreciate all the new subscribers. I made it to the uh, 1000 mark uh, before February 20th, which was a big uh, milestone for uh, keeping my YouTube monetization. Um, so thanks a lot. Picked out a couple videos for you. Uh, one over here, um, selected video, and if you can subscribe, really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.